Hi, my name is Taylor. I'm an athletic training student here at Seton Hall University. Hello, my name is Sammy. I'm also a student here at Seton Hall University. Today we're going to show you some core grip reception exercises. Uh, we both will be clinician and patient for both. And we both bleed blue. So for our first exercise, we're going to do a closed kinetic chain exercise. Uh, we're going to do a dead bug. Uh, so what we're going to have Sammy do is we're going to have him bring his legs up and he's going to kind of have his perfect. Then his arms are going to be extended as well. And just for this one to kind of progress, show you a quick progression, we're going to put the stability ball in between. He's going to kind of hold the stability ball there. Perfect. And what he's going to do is he's going to extend his opposite arm and opposite leg. So let's start with the right arm first. So he's going to go right arm, left leg. Straight out, completely straight out. Good. Then he's going to come back, hold the ball again, and he's going to do the opposite side. Good. Extend this arm down. Perfect. And back up. Good. We'll have him relax. To progress him, we'll remove the stability ball and then see if he can do it without it. So go ahead, back into your position. Good. So I'll hold these two, go extend out. Good. Come back. To the other side. Good. Perfect. For this, we'll do three sets of 10. Um, and then, yeah. Okay. And for our next exercise, we're going to have Taylor do ball rollouts. So there's, a, there's numerous ways you can do this. But for us today, we're going to put a band around the stationary object right on his hip. We'll have the ball right in front of him. And we, keep, we put the mat just for his knees for comfort. So we're going to ask him to keep his, like, like his back and his hips like a hinge. Go down as much as you can while keeping his, squeezing his core, having a flat black, black back. Bring your right back nice and slow. And once again, make sure that he's not overcompensating and maintaining his core and back nice and slow. We'll do this three sets of 10. And for our functional exercise today, we're gonna to have Taylor um, stand the one leg onto a, a air pad, or in this case, we're a little bit creative. Um, we're gonna ask him to, to, first I put him next to something, like I'd be behind him maybe, just in case he doesn't lose his balance and make sure you can maintain it. So then you're gonna squeeze your belly button down into your spine, you wanna activate your core. So then we're gonna just have a little catch, and I'm gonna throw it all different positions. I'm gonna throw it right down the middle, have a little reach a little bit, and the other way. And then you have to squeeze his core while maintaining his balance on that single leg. And this is, we will do this three sets of 10, and this is your functional exercise. For our last exercise, we're gonna do an isometric exercise. Uh, this exercise kind of works in all three planes of motion. Uh, so for this one, we're gonna have Sammy have his arms straight out in front of him, his hands are together. And what he's gonna do is he's gonna resist my pull from here, hold it for about 10 seconds. Then we'll relax. We can do this for about three or four sets. Then we'll have him put his hands above his head. And again, I'm pulling him this way. He's gonna resist, holding it there. 10 seconds again, three or four more times. Then for the last one, I'm going to come behind him and pull from the back, trying to put him into extension, holding for 10 seconds, and then relax. We would also go around and do the other side as well, and then yeah, that's it.